Hey guys, Ralphie here, and I'm doing a quick review of the Roland JDXI keyboard. As you can see in front of me here, I've got it all set up, and I'm relatively new to the keyboard myself, so I'm going to give you my first impressions of this keyboard. And at the end of the video, if you stick around, I actually have had a friend Matt come to the studio and we had a jam on this keyboard, so I'm going to show you that after. But first, the reason why I got this keyboard, I mean, I've got a couple of synths now, but this one was slightly different in the sense of its layout, how you can kind of have little jams live, which is what I really like. Uh, for example, you've, you've got the four parts here. So four multi timbres I guess, part select, they call it. Two digital synths, drums, and an analog synth. Um, which is really cool. What the cool thing is it's got its built-in sequencer here So it's got a step sequencer here, which is beautiful And the reason why I got this is kind of just to have a bit of a toy in terms of jamming And that's what that's what I like uh, with certain keyboards, you know, maybe at the end of this video I'm actually going to show you me and Matt having a jam. We stuck this at, to a looper and um, sort of um, laid out layers afterwards. So that was really really fun. So this is a really, really fun synth. So I'm going to show you the step sequencer. This is why I got this synth, and it's, it's really cool. So first things first is the sounds are actually incredible. Um, as you can see here, just make sure when you when you boot up the uh, keyboard, it comes, it comes with like demos. I guess it's a way to sell the um, keyboard when it's in the music store. It's, uh, I always find sometimes that kind of draws my attention when I'm in a music store, but you don't really want to do that here. You just kind of go uh, shift arrays, hold shift, hold, hold arrays, and then see the program value buttons here. I want to make that go to all, press enter, and that should, when I press play now, give you a blank template. So this is how you kind of layer some ideas really quickly. Um, here I've selected drums, and if I go to program select, I've got all sorts of kits. Quite a few rolling classics, like the 808s, 707s, 909s, all that sort of stuff. So really inspiring. I'm just going to, I guess, pick something random. See, I've, I've done the drum beats there. It actually shows up in the step sequencer. You can add things. So it's really cool. One criticism I have had with the drum machine though is you can't, you can mute the sections as you go, but you can't mute like the kick, for example, take the kick out. That is one criticism I've had with this keyboard, but it's still fun to throw some random ideas. So you've got your drum beat there. Um, I'll go to the analog synth section now, and I'll um, see there's a knob here that I'll um, choose a different uh, category, so bass I guess. And you can choose tones.
Vamos. That was an idea. I mean, I didn't. I was just jamming, so I didn't prepare that. But that gives you an idea. So it gives you a chance to layer some ideas really quickly. And this is kind of why I got the synth is to kind of just have a jam machine. And I really like that about this. Um, obviously, the tones itself are really cool. You got everything from strings. do have a vocoder here as well. Let's see if I can move that. It did come with a gooseneck microphone, so it's got a little vocoder there. Um, one of the features I'm really interested in, I haven't actually tried it yet, is if you do have an idea, you can actually press this button where you sing into it and it picks up the pitches of your vocal and it plays the tone bank that you're on. And that's really cool. I think that's a really cool idea. I've never really seen that in another synthesizer before. Because that'll give you... It, it is monophonic, though. It's not polyphonic. But that'll give you... Like, say you just... Mm, humming a um, humming a melody idea. You can just kind of get the keyboard to play the tones there for you. So that is another feature of the synth that um, once you get into it. So let me know what you think. Have you had a play with this keyboard? If not, it's a really cool pickup. And so without further ado, I'm going to show you what Matt and I jammed with this keyboard. Matt's a way better keyboard player than I am, so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, click the like and subscribe button. That'll be awesome. If you like this sort of content, uh, let me know. I do want to try to be more active on YouTube, so I'm posting more often, so every fortnight or so. Um, but yeah, let me know if you like it and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and stay creative, everyone. That was the Roland JDXI. And now to our live demo with Matt on keyboards and me dancing like a fancy pants. Here we go. The Roland JDXI. <laughs> Rolling JDXI keyboard. Demo.